We're live. Woot! We are we are live. Hey. Coming back Indy. with Lost Cities hey. for the first time in a couple weeks. People are moving and we've been in Indy. I'm not sure if the audio is actually coming through for us. Uh, it's not. All I, I'm it is. Seeing, it's I, just I a little quiet. It. I can't hear anything. Do you have it muted? Just a little no. quiet. I've been listening to all of the ads. I can hear you and me talking and stuff. Oh, mine was slow as fuck, apparently. No, uh, let's give it just a second. There'll be some audio displeasure here for a second. Mine was slow as fuck, apparently. I'm going to have to clip that because it was Emily saying it was slow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was apparently my computer that was very, very behind. Anyway, uh, technical difficulties, we know how that goes. Uh, we're back with Lost Seas for the first time in a couple weeks, and this will be our Monday night campaign until its completion. Uh, at which point we will pick back up with Holy Winds, and y'all will tell me what the hell y'all are doing with that. Yay. Public enemy number one. I knew we should have murdered that guy. Yeah, we will eventually. How many NPCs have I created that you could say that is we should have murdered that guy? A lot. Yeah, but this one's specific. This one especially. Anyway. So, we will eventually. So as a recap, uh, the crew went into uh, the pirates holdout trying to recover some goods. And the party got divided. Gleam got sucked back out to the outside in the ocean is now trying to organize a union with the crew because he has not been paid yet. Kogo is going to be getting revenge on something. And a couple party members have been, uh, to, let him, have, he, have been to hell and back. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we will pick back up. I am going to switch us back to the bandits cave. You left an N out of Arlana's name. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. I had to recreate all these things really quickly. All right, so uh, I got to remember, I got two screens to do with this. So, Kogo, we're going to pick back up with you. Yay. It has been, uh, it has been rough. Yes, it has. Uh, where are you currently standing at as Avi dashes off down a hallway to go find Arlana? I'm trying to find that out. Because my screen is currently all black, but that may be a me problem with just not being on the right spot. Uh, you're at the, the... Oh, I'm at the top right. I don't know where you're at. So. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing it now. Okay. There uh, we go. So, we will focus on Kogo. Kogo. Also, yes. real quick, real quick. Uh, do you want to go ahead and zip me and Arlana back to the entrance? Um... Where are you? Did I delete your tokens off this man? We are no, we're up in the room that we were in before we went to yep. hell. Ah, yeah. Okay. So let me go ahead. Oh, it stopped that. Doot. Ah, the age of Hewitt's huge maps. Yes. When uh, I did this, because I. Also was limited on space with the roll 20 before buying the middle tier level. Okay. I think I got y'all moved back down towards the entrance. Gleam, where do you want me to move you? Uh, wherever. <laughs> uh, you will now be right here. No, it's uh, I will move you back down towards everything else as you are out on the boat talking business with a halfling and a goliath who you did not let the halfling get fully dressed so he's just he's, he's just, just donald, donald ducking it donald ducking it in a breastplate Ooh, that's gonna be hot never a chance to put his shirt on it's literally just his breastplate now, there's a shirt on. He just threw the breastplate on over the shirt. He just wasn't able to get his pants. So, Kogo, what is your health at as Avi left? 
16. All right. Pinky toe ring heals how much? A D4? D4. Yeah, per round. All right. Are you drinking any other potions, doing anything else, as we figure out how long it's going to take you to slow walk angrily over there? I genuinely don't think I have any potions. I'm pretty certain I'm tapped out, and I've not been remembering to pick any back up when we, like, refuel, so... Okay, so is Kogo just, like, limping or, like, mad walking, or is she running? So, what I was actually thinking, just to make this easier, is I'm going to have her, like, meditate for, like, five minutes, and then just book it back. Because I I think I can do the quick math on that if you'd like for me to, like, the quick roll. I'll calculate, like, that would be... It's 50d4. Yeah. And just whatever that is, is whatever that is. Let me type it up. And then for after this, I have a proposal on how we can sort out how this works to make it a little bit more balanced. Oh, no, the the toe ring is not... Oh, shit. That works. I'm top back off. Yep. God damn! Well, I mean, she sat for five minutes meditating. That would have been nice to be able to do. (laughs) So, uh, it's not overpowered, Claire. The big thing is this literally has next to no benefit in combat, except for you are not going to die from damage. Yeah, except from the rare occasion of that, yeah. Old, That's fine, then. Old age and severe damage will kill you. So, be ready for more ghosts. Cool. All right, so you're uh, going to sprint? Yeah, now she's like... All right, motherfuckers. Stands up, cracks her knuckles, cracks her back, leads to one side, leads to the other, gets down like a track runner, and just fucking books it back along the way that she knows. Okay, let's all take a moment to appreciate the dice roll square in on uh, on the stream right now. It's really clean. <laughs> it's really clean. Like uh, no, the, the, resu- like the resolution after screwing up everything, I actually somehow made resolution better. But no, it just looks like some weird calculator thing that kids used to do back in school when they're <laughs> bored. Anyway, so Claire, go ahead and start moving your kogos. Okay. I'm just moving along with the stream. So we can, and, and, and I'm not going to make you roll. You're a monk. You do mo- monk crap. You're going over holes. I, for some reason, my alt click isn't working. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Sorry. Uh, I hear my wife saying something in the other room. I was making a TikTok about a roll. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> uh, I now have the ability to have TikTok on a phone. This is bad. Uh, you can just I'm working free, on it. You can just <laughs> freely move. Yeah. I'm using a new uh, web browser, so it like doesn't have the stuff I'm used to cached. So it's acting kind of funny. Which browser are you using? I have swapped to Firefox. Oh, nice! How many tabs you got open? I'm back to my hundred something tabs, and it's no longer killing my RAM. Which is oh. why I swapped to Firefox. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just need Google to remind me what my password is so I can actually um use the Google store to get the apps on my phone that I want now that I got my new phone. Because I ain't starting a Samsung account. Anyway, Kogo, the pathway that you've come through before is completely clogged with boxes. That's Crates. fine. She's going to start punching her fists into the boxes and pulling them out. R- roll to hit. So this is just like a just straight, just straight, one of my punches. Just your straight unarmed monk punch. To- totally hit. Okay, I clicked it, but I can't see it, and I don't know why I can't see it. You did ten. You see what I did? I-, I see what you did. Why is it acting funny for me? Okay, well, all right. And that is, t- I clicked your attack damage because that's ten magical. So you punch into it. Kogo, give me a perception check. Oh, I didn't mean to click no, no, that. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, roll your damage. You're, you're just punching through. You're... 
I would if I could, but it's it's literally not popping up in my chat for me at all. I don't know why. So I may have to swap back to Chrome for this one purpose. It's, it's another 10 magical damage. All right, you said perception, yeah, though? give me perception. All right. Uh, there's this weird, gritty stuff. Oh, <laughs> is it black? It, it is, uh... It is black and silverish in color as you are punching through these crates. All right, but, I was say, don't give her drugs again. No. Oh, but, no. But it's not say, drugs. I will say this, though. You're not 100% sure what this is. It has a very strong odor. Kogo, who has worked with cannons, does not we, know what this is. We don't have cannons. You have ballista. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, she doesn't know what it is then. So, uh, the the uh, the very first game we had, people were familiar with firearms because Cannon got an arm cannon, literally walking around with a Walker revolver. Yeah. This uh, Lothria had that. Y'all don't know what's there yet. So, uh, so you yeah you punch through and you're just there's this black granular stuff getting all over you getting okay stuck in is your sweat is this floor to ceiling packed by the way i forgot to ask that pretty much it looks like someone tetris this hallway full those bastards you nearly murdered them i barely touched dude little bandits maybe but i think i think big bad i barely even yeah, got uh, a hit on him i don't are, think are you gonna flurry of blows to try to make your way further in uh, I'm not going to use my key for it. No, truthfully, I, I don't want to spend that. But she, if we want to yada, she is going to just keep working on this until the powers that be do something, or it she brings it down. Okay, one of the uh, one of the two. I will say that you move in there. Uh, do another two two attacks. Your normal. Mm, you're no, you're, oh man, baby hand got that twenty eight. I assume. <laughs> uh, so yeah, roll. Uh, you can't roll your damage. I can now. I, I went ahead and pulled it up in Chrome for the time being. So. I, I'm apparently rolling double whatever I roll for you. So it's uh, okay. that's 22. Uh, you are now completely covered in this powder stuff. Give me a deck save. Yep. Not bad. Okay, you're gonna save, so you're gonna take half of what <laughs> I roll. Or do I take zero? Because I'm a monk. Evasion, not danger sense. So any effect that lets me take a deck saving throw is now no damage. When you for say per, for Peregrine, that would be half damage though. Okay. With danger sense. So you won't take damage, I guess. <laughs> so Monks, yay! <laughs> I, I'm gonna roll what you would have taken anyway. That's fine because it probably would have been bad. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this just set up the most amazing moment, though. No, because there's there's also physics in, at at work here. Oh, true, true. She's so probably still going to get blasted back. It would have been 88 points of ballistics damage. Lord! So, um, Kogo, you give me another deck save. Okay. And that is great. So, uh, wait, did I just go through a? Uh, no, there was a column there. I know. Uh, I almost. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with that. But you take no damage because you did cool monk shit. Wait, on my screen, there's a column here. Like I would hit it right there. Is yes, what I see. And I am saying I will not make you take damage because I forgot that that was squared out on the map. So you just get flung back. Through the column? Through the column. but you, Oh, shit. You, you get DBZ punched through. Okay. You, you hit the following wall, but with a 17, you just catch on with your good arm, and there, you're just staring back through a Kogo-shaped hole to a chamber full of smoke. Okay. Um, Alright. With... She's going to jump back across, and for her, she can jump 18 feet laterally without any issue. 
So she should at least be able to jump and grab on, I guess, to the hole and crawl back through it. Okay. So yeah, and, you, you totally can. And there's just a smoky hallway. And she's just re-advancing. <laughs> okay. So go go ahead, Coco. <laughs> and I'm guessing, can, is it still like filled with smoke? I'm assuming it's probably yeah, going to take a bit is. for that to dissipate. Oh, it's going to take a minute for this to dissipate. It is a, this area Dope. has a bunch of stale air. Is going to very slowly walk through, just just like step, step, okay, step. Okay, we get the Vader walk in. Yes, until I'm guessing right about here, it kind of clears enough. Oh no, they're gone, motherfuckers! You can see that there uh, there is no one in the room with you. All right, she's gonna start flipping bedrolls. <laughs> Uh, you totally find them all hiding under one bedroll together going, shh. Well, it's more in case they covered like a trap or something. No, you, you flip the bedrolls. There's there's no bedrolls uh, in here. I mean, actually, there's nothing underneath the bedrolls in here. There's some barrels. There is a brazier that has just gone out. And there are some chests. All right. Well, I guess she'll look in. Just see if it was fucking worth it then. Start loot looting the chest. Uh they are locked. Uh, she will punch it. Kogo smash. <laughs> and we will uh yeah, that the chest has a higher AC than no. <laughs> <laughs> the chest actually turns and looks at you. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> but I am a proper mimic. And then just puts the swole arms out. <laughs> no, so I will uh, jump from Kogo smashing chess to the rest of the party. Uh, Gleam. You, yes, sir. You had gotten Aldric and Korva <laughs> to row the landing boat over to where you got shot out of the... out into the ocean, right? I believe that's what you were doing, is you're going to see if anybody else shot out that way. Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Okay, so you got Corva and Aldrich, the two crew members you brought with you, to yes. take a boat to where you popped out. Correct. Okay, get, what is your passive perception? Ooh, it's pretty high. Uh... 19. You notice a bright purple lightning bolt strike near the entrance of the cavern. Bright purple lightning bolt? I am talking like day glow purple. You also hear a voice. Bam! Hey! Corvid looks at you. What? Oh. What? Wait, is some? I'm confused. Is somebody coming out of the lightning bolt? You you heard a voice and saw lightning bolt. Do I have any idea what that could be? Uh, roll me an Arcana check. Uh, Arcana twelve. Magic. Question. Okay. So it's, is it coming out of some one? You saw lightning come from the sky while blam was being yelled and it strike near the entrance of the cavern. Bla Do I see a person now? Give me a perception check. You're a little bit far, far away for passive to catch that. <laughs> Perception, where you at? Perception. Uh, perception, 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 okay. 24. Uh, there are two figures standing s standing with their backs towards you, is what you can kind of see from that far away. T one very large, one not so large. Do I know them? No. From this far away, you can't tell, just one big, one not so big. And they're on the shore. Yep. 
who's driving the boat? Uh, you got Corva and Aldrich. Aldrich was paddling. Corva was on the udder, uh, not the udder, the rudder. Uh, I'll ask them if they see. Uh, I'll look at Aldrich and be like, "Hey, you see that?" Yeah, it's weird. Do you know who that is? Mm, no. I'll use thaumaturgy to make my voice louder, and I'll say, "Hey, who are you?" Uh, over on the shore, the two individuals, you hear someone yell, who are you? I asked first. Uh, I'm saying to the individuals that are on the shore, you hear someone and, yell, who are you? And I repeat back, I asked first. How far away are they from the shore? How far are you from the shore, Gleam? Would we say uh, about two about two hundred feet? Sure. Would I easily be able to see this? To see him. What is your passive perception, Avi? That would be I useful. That. That probably at some point. I'm not Avi. Twenty-four. Yeah, you know that's a gleam. Oh, this is, uh, oh that look that that that's gleam and Tova and uh, Tova. Yeah, and uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Fuck. Aldrich is coming with them. I hate life. I hate... I'm going to go jump off the cliff. Okay, no, I'm going to go jump off the no, cliff. No, no, no. This is... This, 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 you see, Arlana, sometimes when you reach a certain point in your life, there are transitional periods. You have to think of this as one of them. You know, like puberty or menopause. This is just something a little this bit is, different. I, I have... I, it was a long, long time ago, Avi, but I went through puberty. I don't think elves go through menopause, but I, this is not puberty! But it, it, do, I, just, do I hear her yelling? You you can hear both of them yelling, yes. You hear Avi and Arlana's voices. Oh, that's... what? And it doesn't look like them, though. Uh, uh, go paddle forward, you young, young sir. Aldrich just starts rowing. You haven't seen us yet. Okay. I told we him have... from far away he saw a big and not so big. Mm. Alright, we have about 15 minutes before they get here. Um I need you to get it. I need you to... are you good? I'm I'm maybe. Yes. Question mark. Yeah, I'm fine. Just fuck. No, wait. I am taking this in stride. It's been so a long day, Avi. It has been. It has been a long day, Arlana, and I would very much like to get back to my ship. And can I even get on the ship? Yes, you'll be fine. You'll be. We, we may have. We may have to set you a hammock on deck until we can make the doors bigger. But yes, it it will be fine. It will be fine. Mm. Look, hey, look, we we have already sent the message back to Velo. We are fine. Gleam is obviously fine. We need to go find Kogo, who last I saw, whoever she was walking after is not going to be fine. But Kogo is going to be fine. I have Hopefully. the utmost faith in Kogo. She will be fine. We're fine. We will look through, see if we can find what we came here for. We will get back on the boats, and I'll take. We will go straight home. Mm. All right. We Fine. can see. Let me. Uh, he, here are our options at the moment. Go straight home, and maybe find someone who can fix this. For you, I think I'm fine. Um, 
the problem is that there is an exorbitant amount of mixel things in the area and i don't really want to try that again because i came out on the good side of this stick i don't want to see what happens when we when you come off on the bad side of the stick mm -mm. y'all do have the launcher though yeah yes. we that. as we're getting closer can i tell that it's definitely avi and uh, as you get closer, the voices definitely are. Uh, give me a perception check, though, Gleam. As you, I'm assuming you're Washington across the Delaware at the bow of this rowboat. Ooh, 12. That's not great. Some stuff's getting in the way. Like some of the, the trees and, you know, other remains of shit. Like the, the werewolf guy. It stinks. Um, yeah, so once the boat actually hits the ground and Corva ties it off and Aldrich runs to actually go get his pants because it's a little awkward. Just, but, a, just a tad. Yeah. Was he, was he wearing underpants? No. I'm, no. I, I'm going to, I'm going nice. to be... I'm going to be watching this happen and watch him run away. Why is Aldrich why is why is Aldrich not wearing pants? There because I be told so him to come now. To okay, what is what am I looking at now? Describe what he sees. <laughs> so uh as you walk up, you see like arms wide as in I am so glad to see you um, wearing the same uh, Avi's armor. 100 starting from the feet up, it's 100% Avi in his armor, except for the wings and the owl head. It's a little hoot owl, Avi. Wait, what? Um, uh, uh, Avi is Avi is now uh, an owlin. Uh, I, I, I did. You see, Avi's armor being uh, what is obviously armor. Avi's gear, Avi's hands and arms, a pair of wings, and a great horn owl head. Arlana. And remember, it has subtle tiger stripes. Motherfucker. <laughs> This is the most Lisa Frank description we're about to get. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> to Google Lisa Frank. Hold on. You know, on. You're a kid in the 90s. You know what Lisa Frank is? Based on what I'm looking at, I was a boy in the 90s. You know, every girl you went to school with had a shitload of those folders. I know it. They didn't talk to me. You don't have to talk to him. You can see him from 30 feet away. I ignored them. Or, uh huh. Uh, now we're flipping the script a little bit, I think. <laughs> Some of us still have those folders and merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure in my parents' house, there's some of my old Lisa Frank folders. Because you said tiger stripes, I am now imagining without any explanation yet this. Oh, no. That did not come up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Where, where'd you look? He posted it in Holy... Oh, in Holy Winds on accident. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, I mean... You know... Uh, it, that that would probably be it if I were still just a fucking were-tiger. Just describe. I, I can't remember the name of the fucking Grace because I'm annoyed... Just describe what you look like. She's a fucking elephant person, okay? Uh, a, lo a, lox a loxodon? I'm a lox it's a loxodon in our lo in those clothes. With, with the same the clothes. same voice though, like it's not like Nope, not it is Arlana's voice. Pawoo, motherfucker. Gleam faints. 
Hang on. I got I I, I got it. Uh save images. Corva catches Gleam as he faints and just looks. Hey. Hey. It's been a bad day. It it has it it has been in fact a day. I am sorry. This is your day. Mine has been pretty great. Ew. I'll I'll wake back up and say, "Where the fuck is Kogo at?" She's still in the cave. It's I it's a long story. Kinda. It's weird. Um She's still in Y'all abandoned her. No, no, not purposely on my part, especially. Um, Doubt. I'm gonna press X. <laughs> what? He, he's going. He's going renegade, not paragon. <laughs> so, so what? What happened was apparently what, what there, had happened. What happened was what happened was there was. Oh uh, fuck the, you guys! Just looked at. The- but uh, that's what I see. I, 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 I see. I see. Like the ears down, covering most of the covering most of the face, and just kind of yeah. over. Okay, the one from Sing is pretty accurate. Ah, uh, the, the there there apparently was a Rakshasa. Um, and yeah, I'm at the boss. Convinced by some way, uh, Arlana he, to help him move some stuff. He cast a charm on me. And so she was compelled to help him offload. She got paid for it, though. He was actually pretty pretty nice. Um, but the way to hell, literal hell, closed behind us, so we had to yes. find a way to get back. And, oh, rem- you, you, rem- you remember that machine that we that, that we came across the the Mixel the Mixels machine that had all the really stupid magical stuff in it? Um, no. Okay, so we met. So apparently, we there was this machine. I think at, that we we had we found the machine before we found Gleam. So there was this. Because everybody ended up in jail with Gleam because of the wand. Ah, so th- there was a machine that if you put money into it, it would give you a magical item. Um, what what is was, what is that? What this money you speak of? <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, um, so you, you put in money and you get the magical item, um, and they are they range from slightly useful on the top end to abjectly terrible. Um, and they were all made by uh, apparently a gnome uh, by the name of Mixel, and he Who just was there. happened to also be in Avernus when we were there. And he got us home. Oh, we bought this. And I reach behind me and I pick up the magic missile launcher. One arm. As she picks it up. Rocket launcher. Yeah, it does that. Um, uh, Okay, this is like... She points at it. This is the highlight of the day. Because the thing is cool. But... So uh, he sent us home. Of meat pies. Uh, so he sent us home. Um, let's see, what did I get? I got. What is rolling? It's us chatting. Uh, I also got these cool gloves. Uh, that. Great. Uh, uh, can we walk and talk and go try to find Kogo? That's probably a good idea. Uh. While y'all are walking through, I need three deck saves from y'all because some of the traps reset. I'm going to send the two new people first. (laughs) I'm going to tell them there's traps. I mean, we know where the traps are now, though, right? Yeah, so you you got advantage. Coco, uh, while they're rolling that, I will tell you what you find when you punch this thing open. Okay, yes, please. Advantage 10, 11, 19. All right, hold on. Let me just, let me roll the damage real quick. That's okay. I'm about to die. <laughs> 
so oh, oh that should be three sorry so let's see you failed one two succeeded one so you will take six damage gleam Avi, you will negate damage with your rolls. Arlana, yep. you will negate damage with your rolls. So, Kogo, you punch open this first crate, and immediately your hand hurts because it's slant. Like, you go through the wood, you're like, yeah, and you weren't expecting a large amount of metal down below it. Ow. Yes, you would have had a short rest in the boat. Uh, as you open the box, Kogo, you see over 30... Like, the box is, like, partially filled with sawdust. Mm -hmm. But you, you pick up some very odd-shaped weapons. Like, you, you can... Like, they're, they're handheld. Like, there's a couple... There's about 20 as you start going through this box of these little what look like pipes with handles. So Kogo uh, is going to, okay. Kogo is going to find this guy and defeat him with the power of friendship and this gun she found. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you find that there's two that have, they're very similar in design, but there's six barrels. Mm -hmm. and it's, it spins a little bit. Like it spins, click, spins, click. And then there's, Ten of these that have three fixed barrels. Okay. And there is a small box holding a whole bunch of little, what look like ball bearings. Oh. Typing all this up. All right. What about the other one? All right. Uh, I'm assuming you smashed that one. Yeah. Uh, I can roll if you need me to. Uh, I'm not going to make you. But you know what? Uh, give me a flat deck save, though, when you punch in. You punch, and instinctively you're able to stop your hand, because as you open the box, you can see that there's 15. Like, the, this box has a bunch of longer versions of those little smaller ones. And 10 of them have axe blades on them, and you would have punched straight into the axe blades if you had... Oh, that would have been bad. But there's 10 of these... Uh, very large, uh, wide-barreled, or very wide, the pipe's kind of con, con uh, conical, uh, that goes back towards the, the, uh, the wood at the base of it. Almost like a horn. Okay. And then the axe blade is fixed on those, and then there are a bunch of very large, wide-barreled ones that seem to have a container on them. A container. And I'm just moving the rest of the party up so they can... Because you are going through this as you find it. There's just all these things. What about these things? These barrels and stuff. Food. She'll just like grab just a few things of I guess like rations and food and stuff and put it in her pack and start leaving. You're just gonna leave those crates of whatever those are? Yeah. I mean she doesn't know what they are or need them. She, she's to find still stuff. got people to find. <laughs> Do we do do we hear her like, uh, you, rummaging as you like you hear Kogo loudly eating something? K Kogo, he's just gonna look up but not say anything and start walking uh, down like south. K Kogo. Yeah, if y'all wanna. Oh, I would help if I move my move the stream camera. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. 
go go you you know what? i just wanted to y'all describe yourselves again the it, it, you see avi but he it, he has the the head of a great horn owl uh his do i have i don't think i have any let me double check my stuff make sure i see if i have any Asian. I do have magic boots. Um, you, you see, his feet are like abnormally larger. Uh, and his head—he has the head of a great horn owl and wings, and he's still wearing his hat. Arlana is a loxodon with wear tiger stripes and doesn't look happy about it. Nice. So, so it's been weird. Coco's going to just keep walking slowly but continuously. And she's just going to walk past them both. And as she passes, look over and go, there's shit in there that y'all might want to look at. And then just keep going. Coco's just done. <laughs> Like, she kind of glances at him and then just does, like, a very, like, faint head shake and then just kind of pushes past and keeps going. What is Kogo actually going to do? She's going to see if there's any obvious sign that those guys left, but if not, she's just going to leave the cave. She's going to work her way back out. Okay. Uh, I will say, in this immediate area, you do not see where they left. From. You know they left, but you don't know how they left. She'll just, I guess, like, backtrack for the most part. Actually, hang on one second. Is, is, is this the shit we were supposed to find? Hey, me. So, as you, uh... Before she walks fully this way, she's gonna just double back over here just to check. Does she see, like, footprints or anything, like, down in these spots, like they went this way. No, in fact, this area, like the closer you get over here, the heat from the water is almost unbearable. Okay, so let's turn around and start leaving. Okay, so are y'all gonna go in and look at the room where Kogo busted up the chest? Sorry, I had my headphones off for a sec. What'd you say? Are y'all gonna check the room that Kogo left? Yeah. What is it we were supposed to find here? Stuff. I mean, there are two smash chests, there's some barrels, and then there's... Coco. I know, but, like, what were we actually supposed to... Literally stuff. Just whatever. This was the stuff from the ship. Like, yeah. the recovery thing, I believe. The recovery of cargo. And, they, and these bandits had, like, drug in stuff from the beach. Okay, yeah, you, had, you have to return with at least a quarter of the vessel's cargo, and you will be paid 4,000 gold. I guess we'll go look at see what Coco didn't pick up. Uh, um, I, I, I want to... Mm -hmm. uh, as, as, as a que question for Kogo... Uh, as long as they have known each other, would Avi know that something that would Avi have feeling that she is not in a good place? Yeah, probably. Like Avi is, you know, the anime Coco. trope of like the the darkened forehead, like that they use as like the emote thing for like in like manga and stuff. That that's yeah. essentially Kogo as she's walking off. Yep, can I following Kogo? Yeah, can I tell like I for sure where, where she went? Uh, can you tell where Kogo went? I mean, like, yeah, like for is, sure. This is like as she's leaving, she is going back the way y'all came. I, I guess find out what the fuck's her problem. I guess we'll go see what the hell is up in this place. So you're gonna go see the okay, Arlana. If you're going up there, Gleam, are you gonna go with Kogo? Uh, is at where's at? 
Avi, He's going to find her, right? Avi literally just tucked behind Kogo. Wait, I keep forgetting that I can see Kogo. I'm just, I'm going to follow wherever Kogo's going. Okay, so Arlana, since you're the only one in the room, give me an investigation check. Hey, one. You do see the gold knot uh, family crest on one of the chests. Oh, fuck friendly. Uh, so that is the company you're doing that. And inside are all these really weird pipes and they have handles on them. And some of them have axes and some of them look like they have a canister on them and a, like a war pick. The fuck are these? Were they drug dealers or something? Are you picking up one of these things? Ah. And just FYI, I do have it all written down, so don't feel like you have to write it back down for the sake of the party. Just let me know what y'all uh, do or don't take. I'll, I'll post up the, the total list of everything and with their actual names here in a second. But Since you asked me, I don't know if I want to. I'm just asking. This is just a DM. Nope, I'm going to close it and pick it up. You're just picking up the trunk? Yup. I mean, there's two are, chests. Are, are, you, are, are you picking up the trunk? No. With your trunk? No, but I'm a large creature now. Please so say yes. Know. Please say yes. You count as a large creature for picking stuff up. So, Arlana, you're just picking up... No, I'm categorized as a large creature now. That's what you said last time. No, you, you lift like you're a large creature. You're still only eight feet tall. Well, if I can pick up both, I will pick. What's in the other one? Are well, they both what, is the your, what is your strength? Just as Arlana? As you are now, what is your strength? Uh, plus seven. Plus seven? Plus with, I have profi oh, yeah, that's proficient the saving throws. Um, my strength is seventeen, so three. You can pick up one of the chests, but you can't get both. So gleam, we will get to. Oh, what's the point of me being big? You can drag one and carry one. I mean, y'all also have a boat full of minions. You can send in here in a second. I mean, technically we. Technically, would would, have, would uh would they have followed us in? Aldrich and uh, Corva followed their orders of initially staying outside. We, did we tell who? Do we, who uh, told them to stay outside? Because you initially told them to watch the boat. Like when we got here. Yeah. No, I told them to come with me. No, that's you, why I said they'll go first. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said the new people, referring to the. If that's the case, Aldrich and Corva can get the other chest easily. They both have the same thing in it? Yeah, they both have different weapons, and I will post up in Discord, or not Discord, but in uh, chat. So that is what is in the chess that you know of. Uh, so as y'all are walking, Kogo and Avi and Gleam. What y'all doing? Kogo's just getting I'm, the fuck out of here. Nah, I'm just following them. I want to make sure she's okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to. I'm I'm going to hover. Not like not actually hover, but I'm gonna just kind of walk next to her. Okay. Does she look injured? Nope. At this point, her, uh, I would assume her clothing is very singed, though. Uh, actually, I would say at this point, Kogo's 
the only thing that's not mostly threadbare and destroyed are Gogo's magic items. So she has fist traps, and that's about it. <laughs> Don't you have the don't you have a belt too? Yeah, the belt of dwarven kind. Uh go ahead and roll me that. Was it a D one hundred? I do not remember, but I think We have not rolled for beard. Isn't it a, I don't is it above or below? I don't know. <laughs> use, use the internet. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll look it up. Build, uh, okay. 50% it just says 50% chance so I don't think it specifies above or below so as Kogo is walking out she just slowly grows a small beard I didn't know I had resistance to get against poison poison damage. Yeah, but about are, that. Aren't you immune to poison damage as a monk? I think I, I will be. I don't know if I am yet or not. Eventually, though, yeah. I think I may have just. Yeah, as of level ten, yeah, I'm I'm immune now. Does the belt give you any other benefit? Yeah, it's the uh, con con increase. And. Uh, advantage with perception checks against the wharves. And, and you can speak, read, and write dwarfish. So as you stand out, Kogo, you get that moment that's like the the end of an action movie. Smoke coming off of you, clothes are all torn up. Got like the little short warrior's beard coming in. <laughs> Gotta shield your eyes from the light for a second. And this is when you realize your clothes are almost completely destroyed. Ah, uh, whatever. Got extras on the boat. Elsewhere. Just, uh, Jensen. Look, we had to fix the cell with something that Kiwi boss. I mean, we had to. I mean, this, this is all we could find. <laughs> Kiwi just slowly about to murder somebody. So, and just waiting for Oliver to get back so it could be him. <laughs> Subtitles. Breathes. <laughs> breathes angrily. <laughs> so, uh, you all make it back to the boat. Is Coco just sitting in it? Just like ready to go? <laughs> uh, Honestly, uh, she can see where the big boat is moored, right? Yeah, you can, you can see where the where the Tory is. Okay. Uh, honestly, she's just gonna go ahead and pull out her cloak of the manta ray and just slap it around herself and just walk on into the water and just dive in and just go ahead and swim back out to the boat as a whole. Avi gleam as you see her do this because y'all be the ones closest. What What is y'all's response? Uh, um, are you okay? He's uh, underwater. I feel like you say, are you okay? Like, right as she dives in. Yes. She is... She is not okay. And I think... She is not okay. And I think it may be my fault. Let's get the let's go help get the stuff and get back to the boat. And Thanks. go ahead, sorry. Let's help. Let's help them load this load this stuff up and get back to the boat. And uh, we will see if we we will see if hitting me will help. Uh, while Kogo's, like, heading back out, she's actually gonna stay, like, down at the bottom, and rather than just, like, heading straight back to the boat, she's actually just gonna kind of take her time and swim along and, like, around and through the coral, 
and just kind of look for stuff like look for like you know discarded trinkets or neat shells like she's not necessarily going to take anything unless she just finds something really interesting interesting but it's mostly just to kind of clear her head she's just going to kind of calmly swim and look around and 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 pick through things uh, on her way back out to the boat give me a investigation check okay Eh, not good. Tell me what you got, because I'm looking at things. Ten. Ten. Uh, there's cool stuff. <laughs> Nothing that, like, you go, oh, that's a cool ring, and then when you pull it up, like, a whole skeleton comes with it. And you're Yeah, like, mostly she's just looking at shells and stuff, noticing fish, things like that. You notice a uh, you notice a trumpet snail taking out a uh, a giant starfish. She'll kind of just sit and watch that for a bit while it does that. It, it it's taking a hot minute. This is like the slowest predatory attack ever, and the starfish ain't moving fast either. So you're just like, huh? Somehow makes it more terrifying. <laughs> Just knowing it's going to die no matter what. It's going to take it five minutes for that to happen if at the most, or at the least. Oh, no. H have you ever, uh, do you know the uh, crown of thorn starfish, the one that eats coral? They're like three feet across or something like that. Oh, Jesus. It might be more like two, but they're, they're big. And a trumpet uh, conch snail takes like an hour to eat it. Yeah. yeah. I've seen conch like eat stuff before though where they just kind of like extend out and almost parachute and just wrap around it and pull it in. That's always really freaky. C uh, cephalopods are weird. Also con uh conch are just kind of like cute. They have googly eyes. I've eaten one. What? Conch? Conch. Hmm. They are actually good eating. It's really weird. It looks like a tongue. I mean, it's like a clam. It's a it mollusk. It looks like a tongue. They're a cephalopod, like well, like snails. No, they're they're mollusks. What, like conch or mollusks? Mm hmm. I thought that they were more like the other sea snails that fall into the cephalopod family, related to uh, squids and. Sea snails and stuff are conch as well. Cephalopods is uh like of uh, the squid and and octopus, octopus and stuff like that. Uh, for some reason, I thought snails fell into that family too. Weird. Ah, uh, anyway, science. Yes, I think it's the mollusca phylum rather than the cephalopoda or whatever it is. I don't know. I think actually further up the chain, they are related though. I do think they're related. Distantly, but at the same time, I thought that like cephalopods were like considered biologically alien because of how distant they are from everything else. And I'm like, all we need is for this to get on Facebook, and all of a sudden, cephalopods are aliens. It's like, yep, squids came from outer space, everybody. Well, birds they are also dinosaurs. dream, huh? Birds are dinosaurs. Yes, they literally are. that has been proven. But also, cephalopods dream, which is really, 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 really interesting, because that means two completely divergent classes of creatures, like, completely divergent, not even, like, another mammal, a totally separate class of creature developed the ability to dream. That's absolutely insane. Well, don't dogs or other mammals, yeah. That's my point, <laughs> they're all mammals. <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, sorry. After a while, you're able to get stuff back on the boat. Uh, do y'all send any of your crew to go through and clear out the rest of the place, or are you just done with this cavern? Then, I mean, we get. Did I fit on the lifeboat back to our ship? It it was a little low in the water. Elephants can swim. Yeah, but I'm just saying, she gets in the boat and, like, just takes up, like, the whole front end of the boat starts to tilt up. You know what? I'll hop out of the boat and swim it with my cloak. The whole boat flips over if you do that. Like, you, are need, you are needed for counterbalance. I mean, I don't think we 
got everything we needed to get. Is the boat full of stuff besides people? Like, is it the, does the it two, have our stuff? There, there's the two chests, and then the rest of you that are in the rowboat. Okay, then I won't do it. So you make it back to the Tory, where you're able to haul and put it into the the hold. Uh, do we have as much as we're supposed to get to get paid for this? You have no clue. There were more chests, though. Those are the only chests in that room. You saw chests back in the other room before you went to hell. Did they have the crest on them? You don't know. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. So that's one... That's one no, Avi. Man, I can... I could take I could take some two or three people down in there to to and pathfind a uh, pathfind back to that back to that area considering in fact I know where it's at. Okay, so that's, that's one, one yes gleam. Oh, uh, let me look at my spells I have left. I'm I'm literally asking, do you want to send any of the let me look over here in the folder. Well, if Avi's going with them, then I will also go with them. You have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen minions. Right, but the way with all those traps, if I don't go with them, we might end up with half of that. Okay, so Gleam and Avi are going to go back in. Kogo, what are you doing? Absolutely I'm, not. I'm I'm also legitimately willing to do this and, and volunteering to do this to uh, to give Kogo more peace, quiet, and alone time without having to be around everybody on the ship. And Kogo and Kogo would know that. If we're talking about voting, she would vote yes to go ahead and send people back in there so that they can get figured out. But if we're talking about going back in there, the answer is no. Okay, so Avi, Gleam, both of y'all give me investigation checks with advantage because you have numerous crew going with you as you go through. This is not going to go well. Hey, that's pretty good for me. Okay, with a 15, you find back in the room, Avi, where you ended up jumping into hell, a couple mm -hmm. of uh, boxes that were left behind. Wait, I got the 15. Oh, sorry, Gleam. You notice this. Avi points you to the room. Uh, you find one crate that's broken partially open. Inside of it are a set of silver boots. Okay. Like boots that seem to be literally mm -hmm. made out of silver. You also find another bag or a box that has three brown bags and four red and white orbs. Okay, the brown bags, do they feel like they have money in them? Uh, They're heavy. I want to open one. Alright, let me check something. So I describe it right. Okay, inside of it, you open it. And there are a bunch of little fuzzy balls in it. Oh, nice. And the other ones feel similar? Yeah, the other ones feel similar. They're little fuzzy balls inside the this uh, brown bag. Alright, so one pair of silver boots. Uh, looks like I also got two bags. Because 
because I'm going to keep one. All right. Uh, let's see. What is the brown bags? For how big are the orbs? And do uh, they look familiar? They are. Uh, they're about the size of a baseball. So about two to three ish inches in diameter. Right. I'll hand the boots and the orbs and two of the bags to Avi, but I'm keeping one without anybody else knowing. Uh, there's also a bag of spell components you find and about 5,000 gold in random coin. I, I find all that or we find all that? This is what you find as a group. You do have uh, your crew helping you. Uh, How much gold do you think I can pocket without someone noticing? <laughs> Give me a sleight of hand. The, the answer is probably going to be none. Oh! Natural 20! 20, <laughs> 21! I'm going to say that you can get at least about 500 of that into your own pocket without anybody noticing. Because just the amount of weight and space this much money will take up. Like, if you put any more, you will start jingling. Hell yeah. So I will hand over 4,500 gold. Or, I'm not finding all this by myself. I will say that if you hadn't rolled an at 20, I was going to say roll a D100 to see if uh, Aldrich, Jensen, or Tyrone are in there with you. Because it might be like, oh yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine a little bit, this way, it's fine. <laughs> Jen said, told me, oh man, that's super sweet. Hey, also, like, sub help us fee? Won't say nothing if you, if you fail. <laughs> and then you rolled one of the halflings to be in there. Now, if you failed, Josh and me would have been in there and be like, oh no, sir, you gotta turn that in, sir. All of it goes to the ship because it's part of the cargo to be found. I murder Josh me. You will get the whole way <laughs> to kill you. You will die instantly. Josh and me was like the 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 series that it, the part of the series that is on Claire's channel. Josh and me was the party favorite for a solid minute. Anyway, so that's what you find going through there. Also, a bunch of mundane goods. Do do do, do these orbs look familiar? Uh, give me an investigation check as you look at them. No, that size-wise, they kind of remind you of the stones that you've been finding, Avi. But they are not akin. No, uh, they are okay. just red and white orbs. Feel kind of like glass in your hand. We'll figure out what these are. Back at the ship. <laughs> that seems like that seems like everything. Let's let's go ahead and head back. All right. So you're able to get everything on the boat. Make sure y'all add that to the party inventory because I think uh -huh. Avi's been keeping up with the ship's hold. Y'all have a lot of crap inside the Tory. Yes, we do. I mean, a, I mean, a lot of a crap lot. inside. There is a singing plant. Kogo, are you, are you going down to the hold or just sitting on the deck while you're away from everything? Nah, she'll go back down to the hold where, like, uh, she's got her hammock and shit. You just. I like. The I like to think that she actually like genuinely sleeps like in like the lowest base of the ship. <laughs> Your your hammock is actually in the main hold, and you're just laying there with the smooth jazz of the trumpet of Mangione playing, while nice. your while the plant is producing the healing potion fruits that y'all have. So, everybody makes it back to the boat. You can enjoy the effects of a long rest. You now have Yay. to. The, the big thing now is you still have Kogo's sister to go help. 
in that long rest, can I tell what that those fuzzy things are in that brown bag? Uh, you know what? Let's see. Is this is this a tunable item? I don't think it. No, is it is not a tunable. So, uh, just are you just gonna play with it, or you want to give me an investigation check? I'll try an investigation check. Okay. Can I insight it yeah, or right. medicine it? Uh, I would yeah. like to diplomatize the horses. You know what? Go ahead. Go, give me the insight into the bag. 15. This bag is 100% honest about what it is, and that is that it is a bag. Hey, 20 for investigation. Uh,. You notice whenever you poke the the balls, they move slightly. And oh my god, are they soot sprites? No. Oh. You, you don't get your bag of Studio Ghibli. Hmm. I wanted to feed them the sprinkles. Until I'm allowed to make calcifer a main thing in every campaign, you don't get any of your Studio Ghibli. I mean, I personally am not against that. Just Billy Crystal yelling at you from the kitchen. <laughs> uh, but you feel like if uh, with this gleam that this is definitely magical. And you feel like throwing one of these things probably would have an effect. Can I tell that it would have to hit something? No. You, you don't think this is... You do not think these are attack items. How how many are in the bag? Uh, I am reading that. Okay. There are eight. Eight of these fuzzy, little fuzzy balls. The, can I tell if it would be helpful or harmful? I mean, you can give me an Arcana check on top of this investigation. Oh, boy. 16! Uh, depends on the fuzzy ball. Some of them seem more benign. There's Some of them seem they might be a little bit grumpy fuzzy balls. Huh. Okay. I'll just keep I'll just tuck it in my boot or whatever. My bag. Alright. So which boat is everybody on? I know Avi's on the Devil's Pride. Who else is on the Devil's Pride? I'll goes on whichever her like home boat is. I'm always on the Tory. I don't think I have ever been on the Devil's Pride. Yeah, it's typically just me and the. I, I think Coco's the, usually on me. Devil's Pride. I think she just stole a hammock inside the uh, Tory, though. <laughs> so, Gleam, do you want to ride on the Devil's Pride? Uh, no, because my crow's nest hammock doesn't exist there. <laughs> yeah, it's typically, it's typically, I think, me and the goblins on the pride. I actually think it's you and the halflings on the pride. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's, I've got it's... most of the goblins. Yeah, so okay, so it's me, it's me, it's me, the ha uh, me and the half, me the halflings and uh, kiwi deck balls. Yeah, I've because Tori, I've got Gobbert, Drogob, Greg, Hannah Waves, Torben, Bethany, Billy Gob, Gobby Nelson, and Sinus Friend. Right. Boss and Corva and the halflings and kiwi. So. Because of how rough the uh, the bandit's cavern turned out to be, I'm not going to make y'all roll to navigate the conch. It is literally like a day and a half. Arlana, at least at first, would, pr for probably one of the first times, let someone else take the helm for a while. <laughs> is going to uh, 
spend some time spend some time getting used to being able to fly. So I'm proficient I'm proficient in uh water vehicles if you need me to take the helm. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna go sit in a corner. So I need Avi and Arlana both to roll me a D one hundred. What the fuck? Why? Okay, Avi. Whenever you wake up the next morning, you are still an owlin. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. How many days of travel do we have? Do, do we, are we assuming? It's a day and a half to get there. Arlana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the way he says that. Just I makes... don't like it. Uh, I. It, it, One, two, we'll see. Three. He's counting. Why is he counting? Roll me a D. No. Eight. Oh, it's going to happen again. Oh, no. A six. Yeah, I rolled a fucking six. Yeah, I rolled a six. What about it? What the fuck about it? Okay, um. Oh, no, the um. I need you to roll me another D8. Why? Because the first one wasn't fun enough. No, I, th I, th I, th I think it's just it, the first one was which chart is going to be the final chart. I really hate this shit. So, <laughs> you can get rid of all the Loxodon stats. I didn't change anything, so okay. Uh... Uh, when you wake up, Arlana, you are no longer a Loxodon. Uh, you are back to your wear tigerish normal height. Hey. Uh, give me a perception check to see what's the first thing you notice. Oh no! <laughs> don't forget! Don't forget! I, could, I told you I could fix you. The first thing you notice is that you have a large set of feathery wings. You fucking serious? Large avian wings from your back. What the, what the fuck? You now, uh, so you're going to need to write this down. Hang on. You have a fly speed of 30 feet. Okay. You move your hands up and you realize that you have very long, sharp nails at the ends of your fingers. Okay. So that's a D4 if you decide to cut anybody. Okay. You then notice that your body has some very odd proportions. Am I a fucking harpy? You are a siren. <laughs> what? That's not even a playable race! It is now. It is. <laughs> it, it was under plane shift. Which is what you oh, rolled. Yeah. Uh, so here's the, here's what you get. You uh, what? you are still an elf that is a were tiger, but now you have been laid over with a siren. 
So that is plus two charisma. Mostly because of the odd proportions to your body now. You, you also now know the friend's cantrip and can use it without any components. And you have a fly speed of 30 feet. And now you can speak Siren. What the fuck? Your voice has a slight melodic tune to it. Auto tuned? Yeah, this is what it sounds like you using auto tuned. <laughs> so, in other words, I'm still an elf, so that suddenly being 120 years old doesn't instantly kill me. Yeah, partly. Uh, Avi, you get to add the stats to the owl and over your human, because this is the, the end effect of this, of Mixel's effects. This is, this is oh, yeah. slightly uh, in better, but not really. How had. many times is this going to happen? Hmm. Just are you yelling that from your bunk in the bottom of the Tory? Yeah. If she, I'll go see what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> uh, you get down there and you see a, not an elephant, but still like seven foot tall were tiger elf with bird wings huge, out of her back and, and a huge endowment and, and a hourglass figure what the fuck did y'all do the f I, I just wanted to come home if I ever find Mixel I swear to shit I'm gonna bust him out of that hamster ball and punch him in the teeth who? Mixel the one we told you about the one that got us home but fucked us up on the way is there like a stool or a chair down here? Uh, there are plenty. Sit, sit right here. Mm. I sit on the stool. Can I do? I don't know a medicine check and tell like, is this a curse? Is it a disease? Uh, I will say, give me a medicine check to see if you can determine if this is a disease. Twenty-two. This is not a disease. Okay. She, she is, from everything you know with medicine, she is 100% healthy. Hey. Alright. I don't know if this hurts or not. I've never tried it. Sit still. Uh, first of all, do you want me to fix you? Yes. Do you want me to fix this weird auto-tune or the tiger? Because what if I can only fix one? I don't know. I want both gone. I okay, guess let, fix where would the fix? Where should I start? Uh, I guess with the bird lady. The bird part. lady. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Just letting you know. This has some benefits, what? but I want to get rid of that too. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to take out my last 100 gold worth, and I'm going to say this out loud. My last 100 golds worth of diamond dust. I will pay you to get more diamond dust, Gleam, okay? And then I'm uh, as she's talking, I'm going to blow it in her face so it lands in her mouth. <laughs> and cast Greater Restoration. <laughs> Let's see if that fixes any of it. Uh, let's see. So you're petrified, a curse, uh, attunement to a cursed magic item. Um, so you will... Exhaustion. Get, you will remove the wear tiger from Arlana. She goes back to being her normal height instead of a seven foot tall tiger elf siren thing, but now she is just a elf siren thing. Oh, God, I still got the siren shit! I'll take out a silver coin out of my bag and then poke her with it. Now did that, did that burn? Oh, it burned? No, you just poked me. It didn't burn, though. No. Okay, I'll put it back in my pocket. Okay, that's 
Uh, well, thanks, Gleam. All right, I got. Wow, jeez, I could have done that for cheaper. What the heck does did Mixel do? Um, hold on, I... hold on. I am going to try. Where the hell is it? No, all right. Now I'm going to try that. Oh. Uh, it's not clicking. Okay. I'm going to try to dispel magic. I think you have to select what level. Oh, the spell. Yep, you are correct. Uh, you cast a spell magic, and all of our Lana's magic items will lose their effect. That is not how that works, but... <laughs> no, it's... Uh, you'd have to target a specific effect with that. To, the to the bird that. thing. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Man. Even if I roll against it? Not if you roll against it. Like, you throw magic at it, and you're like... Huh. Um... Okay... Let me check my other stuff that I have. Just stay right there. Well, that's going on. Avi, you wake up and you're still owl. I'm good with it. Go, go. Uh, you're on the Tory too, and you're hearing all this noise coming from the... from the uh, crew quarters. If she walks up to the main deck, does she pass by the crew quarters? Yes. She's going to, like, briefly stick her head in. Arlana looks mostly like Arlana, but she has wings and an hourglass figure. I mean, she did kind of already. It's just more exaggerated. She's just going to slip back backwards and continue up to the main deck. <laughs> and she's sitting there and I'm like pulling out her feathers and like yeah. messing with her talons or whatever the hell she has. Does the siren have sharp talons? How uh, those are attached. So on the deck you can see the crew's already getting to work, Kogo. Is there any uh like repairs or anything that needs to be done on the ship that she can do with like our carpenter stuff? Like, yeah. just, like, maintenance for the trip? Yeah, there, there's always maintenance that can be done. Alright, she'll help out with some of the, the maintenance for that type of stuff. Alright. Uh, so you do that. I need everybody to roll me... Well, let me ask. I'll go ahead and ask. Has anyone been to Conch before, do you think? I would say Kogo's probably at least been to the port. I don't know if she's gone, like, in and hung out or anything, but with her spending, like, a decade or more at sea, it's very likely she's at least visited. Unless she came here with the military for some reason, this is pretty far far from Old Salt, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's definitely far from Old Salt. Then no, Arlana probably would never have been here, unless she came with the military for some reason. All right, let me... and. Let, then, let, me, then let, kind let me look back at this map. Uh, kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing from Kogo with Avi, and he's been on the. I mean, he's been out. He's been. He spent most of his adult life on the water. So. Okay, so y'all probably been there. Uh, Gleam's been to Hook Finn. You, that's what you said where he's from, right? Yep, that's about it. Okay, so Arlana, you haven't been there. Old Salt is far to the south, like. Really, once you get into the Conch Islands, dealing with, or the Shell, sorry, the Shell Islands, Conch, Grit, and Hookfin, and then the Breakers, they're kind of considered the boonies. So, let me... Oh, after, by the way, after Gleam is done I'm... poking and prodding... Well, the last thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, okay, this one's... I mean, I've used some pretty big spells trying to fix this. This one is my biggest. But you have to let it stay for an hour 
to see if it's going to work or not. Okay. And I'll touch her on the stomach and cast a light. You that's asshole. A, that's <laughs> a fucking pantrip, motherfucker! You don't know that! Leave me alone! Can I roll to see if I know what the fuck he did? Roll Arcana. No, <laughs> oh, they're probably not gonna know shit. I sit still for a fucking hour. You can move, you just have to, don't, don't like, brush it, don't bump it. You know, I was gonna... Mm, Alright. I was gonna give you three, but instead I'm gonna give you... Okay, I appreciate you helping me, so Arlana's gonna hand gleam 200 gold. It's gonna be 300, but you had to go and do that. You don't know what I did! Meta! <laughs> Arlana dies. No revival. <laughs> you get 200 gold. Anyway, Conch is the largest and arguably... Fine, I'll give you three, asshole. Conch is the largest and arguably the only true city in the Shell Isles. It functions as a capital, but only when the local halfling and gnomish clans native to the region decide to hold a moot. It is the main port of call for the Breakers region and is usually the first port of call for vessels coming uh, from North Egeth. So if they don't stop in the Breakers, they're going to stop in Conch. Excuse me. Its population is about a quarter of Barbosa's uh, most of the time, but at the time of the moot, it is nearly twice its norm. Uh, this is a result of numerous uh, sections of the cities being empty, aside from uh, estate retainers. The city is nearly 100% halfling and gnome, but other races are present mostly in the markets. Conch is also noted for being one of the few major cities in the region that has no presence of the Elfim order. So, mm. so the everywhere else in the archipelago, you have the, the Elven religion that y'all are familiar with from the other game. Uh, so Kogo and uh, Avi. I let me go over places that you will probably have been. Okay, you probably have not been to Flux. Uh, I will say that at some point while y'all were in Conch, both of you are guilty of occupying an empty manor house in the empties. Which is the neighborhood that usually is empty aside from when the moot meets. Uh, so there are there are people who retain the houses, but y'all y'all took advantage of this is a very nice house. I'ma go live in this house for a little bit. And you are both very familiar with the markets. Oh wait, I need to put these on maps. Yeah, I need to put the I need to make it so y'all can actually see these. Okay. I'll just make it available for everybody. Doop do doop do do. And y'all have been through Trutton. So there are new places available for y'all to talk about. But y'all make Doc. Uh, the Port Authority shows up. It is a very grizzled, grumpy looking, lightly tanned gnomish woman. Wearing what is probably a sleeveless tunic for everyone else, but on her it looks like a dress that's cinched at the waist. And then she goes, All right, what do you want? <laughs> you want to park? Day? Yeah. A week? How long? Yes. Okay, do we start with three days and then extend? Aye. What's the damage? Remote. Yep. Papers. 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 It's like she looks them over and you see her light a pipe. All right. Three dozen, two boats. 
Six to gold. Okay. Six to gold. Like she look as you hand it to her, she's looking at it like expecting you to haggle and then just puts it in the pocket and walks off. As she's walking. Don't have any men cause trouble. Or they get the stick. It, we, how about we deal with that on a case by case basis? Uh, Avi, roll me a intelligence check to see if you remember what get the stick means. Intelligence. Avi, you know this because you barely, ver barely, barely got away with this, but Devlin from the Dervish <laughs> had to ride the stick, and that is, there is, over in Trutton, there is a large log that has been stripped and sealed, and you are made to sit on it with weights on either one of your feet for a amount of hours equal to what your punishment is. So more or less, you're just forced to get the worst wedgie in your life across a log publicly in front of everybody. I don't plan on it. I will turn around to the halflings. Do you know what she was talking about? No, but I feel like we're being unfairly picked out. If you were in my position, would you do the same thing? Jensen just looks at you. Hey, that boss, I would just be keeping an eye on Nunya. He's the one who made the catapult that flung us. I understand that. However, there is no temporary jail time in this city. There is no sleeping it off. There is no three hots and a cot for a week. If you do something stupid, what they do is they tie stones to uh, very heavy stones to your ankles, sit you on a log. Have you ever seen anyone ride a bull? They all just point at Aldrich. I, I kind of rode the Minotaur back at Hook Finn. Oh, okay. So the bull in this case is a very, is a very large, wide log. Are you picking up what I am putting down? All three of them nod. Good. There is, from this point forward, there is no, I did not know. Any shenanigans gotten, uh, gotten up to will be handled by the constabulary and you will take the ride. There is, and I would like to emphasize this. Because of this city, and because it is literally one of the only forms of entertainment that this town has, there is nothing that I can do to talk anyone out of it. Do you understand? They all three nod, and you just see Corva walk up, pick up Aldrich. I'll babysit them. Oh, it's completely unnecessary to each his own at this point. Everyone is now informed. Good team meeting. Okay. Don't break shit. The, the faith you have in your crew. Let's see. Uh, Is there like a town map? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're on it. No, I mean... Our characters, yeah. our characters, do they see like a town map? No. 
it, it's not a huge place though. Like everything's pretty clearly like, you know, that right off the docks are going to be the markets. You can see that there's a couple trade houses. The, Pogo, where are you? Here. Mm -hmm. She's standing there just eating. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't gone anywhere yet. Is it, can I see any temples, even though they're not part of the order? Uh, you can see that there are temples. Uh, you can see that over towards Beach Ward and Trutton that there are some temples. There is a massive building to the northwest up on a hill of some sort. That in the empties? North? Moot Town, north of the empties. Oh, but that, okay, I see. Okay. I'm going to look at Kogo. Are you okay? You were acting kind of weird the other day. Really? I mean, yeah. That's the siren. That's, that's kind of like, you didn't get changed anything weird. And we kind of all got separated, so... I don't know. I went to literal hell. What the hell happened after I walked off? I don't know. You walked off. I, went I was going to where we talked about. Then we went in and found you and you just kind of kept going. Yeah, because we were done. Norlana kind of looks at <laughs> side eyes go go. Are you mad at me for some reason? Do I have a reason to be? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. It has been a weird few days. Things happened that none of us liked, and I want to know what's up. Well, I am, I am, I am going to. I am at this point going to kind of fly over from the from the, the dock on the pride over to the over to the Tory side. Oh, hey, guess what? I can do that sh that now too. <laughs> Although Glee got rid of the the the, the wear thing. So what you're telling me is that you he got rid of the consistent problem, and now we and now I have to worry about not being this. Apparently. I don't know what the fuck Mixel did, but I'm going to punch him in the teeth if I ever meet him again. And I know he's in the hamster ball. I will find a way. Well, it's not a curse or a disease or magic because I tried to dispel all of those. Maybe we can find some answers here, but are you mad at me? No. Not you, Kogo. Oh. Well, we had a plan and I followed it. And then as far as I could tell, everybody fucked off and left me to die. So. I went after bad guys. And then someone fucked with my brain. Kind of like the fucking bird back in Hookfin, which I didn't appreciate from his ass. Yeah. I went after the bad guys, too. With you. And then you left when I found them. And you, and she's going to turn and look at Avi. I don't even know where the fuck you were. I went in because I thought that y'all were already in there fighting and you were setting up and you needed help. So I went in there. And next thing I know, I get my ass handed to me and end up getting knocked unconscious repeatedly. Where y'all are nowhere to be fucking found. I remember going ways. I, d I honestly don't remember other than getting turned around where everybody went at one point. All I know is you went from behind me to not. And you were not behind me at the moment that I chose to go in. I know I, w I went in with you because Avi went in ahead of us. And then uh, things got fucked up after that because Gleam got shot out of the cave, apparently. And I know I got out of the water. Then I went up. I don't know. Things got fucked up. Like, even out of character, I seriously don't remember where things got so fucked up. I remember what happened. You I said, happened. hey, Kogo, let's go this way. And then she said, oh, look, there's people here. And then you turn and ran the other direction. That was me being a fucking idiot, not Arlana. Correct, <laughs> but it's also said. ultimately what Arlana did. <laughs> I, 
if I remember right. I remember us going in a different way from Avi because we didn't understand his, where he said he was. So there were two braziers, which was the problem. Yeah. yeah Avi said realize. he saw the brazier, and there was one to the left, though. So where we ended up stopping, because we were walking, we saw the brazier on the left, not the one on the right. So we and went I, left where Avi was right. And because of how I went into the cave, I saw the one on I I went I, I went down the one on the right, assumed it was the only one, and kept going. And, and likewise, we assumed and there was only one, and, said, and came out and said, "Go by the brazier." And then I went to the one on the right that I knew about. Y'all went to the one on the left that y'all saw, and that's how we got. That's how we got split up. And then our Lana got knocked in the water. No, then Mula uh, me and Mulan got both knocked got, in the water. No, we yeah, both, got both got knocked in the, in the water. water. I Arlana just made it out. out. Yeah, Arlana got out and was near Avi. And no, she got out, went to Kogo, and Kogo said, there's people up here. And she said, cool, let's go. And then Kogo was like, oh, here's the people right, like, ten feet from us. And Arlana turned around and ran the other way. Because that was the point where Avi had found the people to the right. Yeah, so Arlana went to go help Avi without telling Kogo. So Kogo initiated. I thought we were all going in the same fucking direction, okay? Nope. <laughs> I, love, I love that this is the cluster that happened. Well, that certainly wasn't my intention, so I'm sorry. Things got fucked up. I thought we were all going the same way. Well, you know what? Maybe if we had just fucking left when I said so, like, 30 minutes before all that shit happened, we would have been fucking fine. But you know what? No, we it's did. fine. We did. It's done. Yeah. And keep in mind, you know what? Forget it. And she's literally just going to storm off. She's going into town. All I can hear now in my head is don't mess. Gonna ask her if she's going to be fine. Uh, all I can hear in my head now is Kogo's walking off and don't mess with her on a straight tequila night. <laughs> you just give her um, give her some, give her some time. I gave her two days. I thought we were uh, all right, but I was wrong. So I don't know. What, I'm gonna put on something to cover up these big ass bird legs, and I'm gonna go fuck off myself. I mean, your fingernails okay. are sharp. You don't have bird feet. I have bird feet. He has bird feet. I got. Look at these! It's just like smacks her thigh. I got chicken legs now, okay? <laughs> okay. She said it, not me. She just declared Arlana thick. Like, I wasn't small, but Jesus fucking Christ. I need to find a fucking bed sheet or something. Osper, uh. give me fucking strength, son of a bitch! She just goes, stomps back down to the hole to find something. You have magical armor that tailors itself to fit you. Yeah, which means it's my it's, it fits all this. I want to cover it up. I did not imagine your armor was a cat suit. You said forms to fit it, so also yeah, she wears just pants. I'm a ranger. I'm not like a pally or something. Anyway, Gleam and Avi, you're left on the dock after both Arlana and Kogo storm off. This is, this is a great start to the day. At least we're not getting... At least we haven't been arrested yet. I feel like that's coming, though. All of a sudden, down the direction that you heard Kogo go, there's just, like, a boom. <laughs> and oh. then sirens start up. <laughs> oh, we're at that, oh, we're at that part. <laughs> just, oh, just no, not really. <laughs> not really. Just, you hear a window smash, and all of a sudden you just hear some dude, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> It's a gnome with a lantern on his head. <laughs> <laughs> just riding on top of a goat. She'll so, be fine. It's I. I'm going to give her a, a little bit of time to cool off, and then I will go find her. She may, in fact, hit me. 
probably more than once it's happened before it's this was my fault so I'm gonna look at green so don't worry about it I got this uh, they usually have pretty good food in the markets I'm gonna go and find us a place to stay and then probably get the shit beaten out of me. So fun day. Fun day. Why are they gonna beat the shit out of you? It I, I wouldn't it's <laughs> Kogo is my best friend. Oh Kogo, Kogo. yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Yes, Kogo, Kogo, Kogo is the closest thing I have to family that I actually care about. And Kogo is fine in 99% of all situations. There is only one situation in which Kogo is not fine. And that is if Kogo believes that she has been abandoned. And that whole sh and everything that happened in that cave Sounds to me like she probably was abandoned. That, that, that is a very systemic root of the issue. Uh, but she felt like she feel, currently feels like she was abandoned. And her defense mechanism, and this is in what you are seeing now is her defense mechanism. And it will take a great deal to. Rectify the situation. I'm just hoping that potentially beating the shit out of me is going to help expedite this process. Okay, have fun. Yes. And I'm gonna walk off, and I'm going to kind of. I'm gonna walk off and go find the closest tavern and have a couple of drinks. Okay, Avi, you are going to find Salty Sal's Sail Away. Kogo, where would you have stomped off to? I'm going to say that one of the times that she was here, she found, like, a really, really shitty, like, back alley hole-in-the-wall type tavern. But, like, it's not actually, like, a bad, bad place. It's just where, like, kind of the true, like, ship rats go in their downtime. So everything's really cheap and the quality's not great. So I'm going to say she, like, kind of winds her way back to, like, that little, like, hole-in-the-wall tavern. That is literally Salty Sal's sail away. The one that he's at? Yeah, that's that would be the little hole-in-the-wall Sailor's Tavern. Well, she'll have already been there then by the time that he gets there. I don't have the docs on here. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's underneath conch docs. There we go. I've added them to the documentations. If that, be, that being the case... I will walk I will walk in, see her, walk to the complete opposite side of the room and call the bartender over. And I will scribble I will scribble down I will ask for I will scribble down a note and I will buy and I will I will buy a a bottle of their best, a bottle of their of their good shit, and have it sent oh, and have it sent over to Kogo with the note. And the note will simply read, "You can punch me if you want to." And Avi would know this for her. Right, that's wait, like sake I, or anything like that. It's like rice-based liquor is what yeah, she would so, want. So, so here's the deal. Uh, it, the, 
the the note the, the note will the note will it's not but you can punch me if you want the note will say you can punch me whenever you're ready okay so you do that uh sal's doesn't exactly have the greatest supply he literally gets uh, it's a halfling and the the bar has a sliding ladder that doesn't slide super great so you just see sal who is a halfling with a hook hand and a peg leg hop his way up there and he hooks through the little latch a uh, little loop on the side of the bottle that literally just says the good shit <laughs> And he slides all the way to the other end, puts it down, and hands you the note, Kogo. She'll, like, actually look up and look over and, and notice that it's Avi, and she'll look away and look down and read. Damn, Because really, she was just, like, kind of staring straight down. Damn, Go ahead. I was really hoping she'd look at it. You can punch me if you want. And it's just the halfling still standing <laughs> Oh my god, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, she reads it, looks at the halfling, like, with the what the fuck, and then Benny gestures over to Hoppy. He just, like, points with the, like, sees Kogo. He kind of reads you it can, through the paper. You, <laughs> he you, just you starts can pointing. Punch, you, can punch me when you're, <laughs> you can punch me when you're ready, and Kogo looks up. It's like, all right, this guy's into some weird kink shit. And he just looks up and goes, mm -mm. And it's, it just, it just oh, like, closed mouth Eyes wide open <clears throat> and points over and points over <laughs> to me. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 not me, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, not me, not what I'm into. I lean a little bit too far to the right personally, never be into anything like that, <laughs> and just hobbles off. <laughs> uh, she'll look back down at the note. And just kind of like slowly shake her head. Like not like a no, but just kind of like a side to side thing. She'll fold it up and put it away. And she'll lean on her elbow, like casually. Like she's just leaning over, but she's got it tilted in a way where she's facing away from Avi as she like pours and starts drinking. But she's like very clearly not letting him see her face right now. Okay. Gleam. What are you doing? I guess I'll just go around and try to find out if there's a temple of Paylor. All right. Uh, give me an investigation check. Can I do a religion check? You know what? Yeah, let's go with religion. 22. Okay, you find your way up to the beach ward, which is full up. Let me see if I... Say this right, Beach Ward. A spot for those seeking a rustic vacation. It is nothing but bougie taverns and inns with like beachfront property. And then you just see the temple to the Don Father, the Lord of the Sun, Paylor, along with a couple temples to Glitter Gold. Like they're almost like waffle houses on the corner. Nice. Nothing wrong with a little look. Or halfling look. Um, yeah, I'll just walk in. Uh, it is. You can see that there are a couple humans. Uh, there's mostly halflings, and then the like sunniest disposition dark elf you have ever seen. That is wearing the robes of the head priestess. Comes I'll just up. walk in and say hello. Oh, hello! Are you here to receive... Oh, I see that on your chest. You know the Dawn Father. Yes. <laughs> I love and hate this person. Same. <laughs> okay, write this down because I'll forget the name in a week. My name is Sister Solera. It's such a sunny day to meet you. Is this like <laughs> sorority shit? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, do y'all run an orphanage? We don't, mostly because we don't run into that problem here, really. Adoption happens really quickly. Halflings take in so many other halfling children. Sometimes you gotta make sure that 
the children actually are orphans. But all in a day's work for the sun god. She is she has not stopped smiling. I'll smile back to her and say, uh, okay, well, uh, I'm Gleam. I am so happy to meet you, Gleam. Such a bright name as well. And when I smile at her, I'll, uh, I'll use this to make the, sp the spark of the sun come off my teeth. I don't want to blind her. I want to blind just I don't know a fucking random person that's in there. <laughs> just one of the one of the humans that's cleaning a brazier just falls over. Ah! <laughs> falls off a ladder in the background. He'll be fine. We can cure that. Yes. Uh. Okay. Well. Uh. What's the temple look like? Is it nice? Is it kind of? It is spotless, but also give me either a perception or investigation check. 23 perception. This place is definitely kept clean for the touristy religious folks, too. Like, you found the rich people church. Okay, of course I did. Like, you're realizing as you look down and there's a little bit of sand on the rug that somebody has already come and swept up behind you. Is she... Okay. The difference between nice and kind? Give me an insight check. 27. This woman radiates pure joy and helpfulness? A hundred percent. Like actual? Yes. Like, this sunny disposition is not fake. Okay. Well, um... So, I have been um, tasked by Paylor himself, and I'll do whatever mm, bowing or whatever that we do it's, when I say Paylor. It's it's five it's five burpees and a and a TiVo knee knee down. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'll do it. <laughs> it's not, man. Just whatever. <laughs> and uh, and then say so. Um, part of that is to help out churches when I can, temples, you know, places of worship. Oh. So. Uh, Oh, my paler, you're here to help, and she immediately hands you a broom. We are going to have I'll... a very large contingency coming from Fresh Salt. And Do, do I know they, what that is? Uh, fresh Salt's an island far to the south. They're, okay. they're new converts, and we they're big donors, and we really need to impress them. So if you could just please help sweep, it'd be fantastic. And... We're making snickerdoodles. Okay. Um, I'll also reach in my pocket and that 500 gold that I scooped off off the floor, I'll hand that to her. She takes the broom and hands it to somebody else. You get to help make snickerdoodles. Oh, I was hoping I could sweep and make snickerdoodles. Yes. And I'll start sweeping, and I'll say, just let me know when you're ready. Whenever you are, and, like, she just goes to polishing the symbol of Paylor. I'll wait until the floors are spotless, and then I'll go make sinker doodles with her. All right, so that's, that is going to be Gleam for the next hot minute, as Gleam has now just, like, come into the happy-go-lucky sunshine cult. Let me actually sister Solara. Okay. Let me actually write that down on my page. Right. Uh Arlana, what are you doing? Uh, I mean if you she'd probably dig if, around. She probably dig around for a while, but realize there's like nothing that's gonna cover up the damn wing, so fuck it. I mean if you untuck the dress with pockets that's underneath your armor, you have a skirt that would probably cover your legs. Yeah, there's no covering up the wings, though. No. So, if I could probably keep her hands in her pockets for the most part with the fucking talons. And, uh... 
she's never been here. So she doesn't even know where the <laughs> hell to go. I mean, there's a few of the crew that are going to stay on the boat to keep the boat under watch. Uh, but it seems like everybody's just kind of scattering out into the market and uh, making where's, their... Bo where's Boss? Is he staying on the boat or he uh, go out? Boss is staying on the boat. Boss is, boss is done going on land for a minute after what happened. Yeah, I don't blame him. You need anything? No, uh, I'm just going to stay here and guard the boat. Yeah, that sounds way better, but I have a feeling I should go out there in case something happens. What? It It's all of them out there. Something's bound to happen. But the halflings are being watched by the Goliath. I'm not talking about the halflings. But the worst thing that'll happen is... Oh, wait, hold on. There's an angry Kogo, there's an Avi, and I don't know where Gleam fucked off to, so... Oh. Yeah, you're on your own with angry Kogo. I'm not messing with that. No, yeah, I'd rather stay here on the boat, too, but something's bound to happen when all of us are in one area, so... Yeah, hold down the fort, I'll be back, and I'll just walk down, I guess. I'll just walk around the markets or something, because I don't know. She doesn't even really know where to go. She doesn't know where anybody went and doesn't know where anything is, so. Uh, you notice Torben and uh, Bethany are checking into a inn that's in the markets. I'm not going to bother them. If they're checking in somewhere together, that's not the boat. I'm assuming they want some alone time, so I'm going to leave them be. You also notice that the majority of the buildings through here are definitely, much like when you're in the breakers, are designed for halflings and gnomes. Of course. I guess I look around. Is there anything that's like magic -y people? Uh, there are some shops. Uh, so, uh, let's see. The shops that you can see in the market. Give me a second to open up my handout so that I will definitely remember this. Totes, totes remember this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not the DM just totally making up shit as we go. What? DMs don't do that. So, uh, there is a store called Miles Wears. Seems to be some type of clothing store. Maybe possibly a second-hand consignment. There is another one known as the Purple Fleece, which is Fabrics. There is one that's called Why Is It? And it is a spice shop. <laughs> there is one just called Slops. You cannot slops. tell. Just Slops. Uh, is, is there a window? Yep. What's in the window? You look through, and it is a restaurant. Hmm. Uh, really what I'm feeling. There is another restaurant known as Curry Up. Maria! Curry Up. There seems to be a bookstore called Nook Inn. One called Gerwins. And the last one is X Grung 
give it to you. Oh my god, you got you have to go there. Also, Bruins. Really? Hmm. <sighs> There's Gerwins and then X Grung give it to you. Did 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 he franchise? Hmm. Gerwin's the dude from the other game that I ended up getting killed. No, it's not that dude. It's not a stable. What what's in the window of X Grung? Give it to me. Uh they are tinted. Of course they are. Oh god, I'm I'm getting thirsty quest flashbacks. Uh, I'm gonna stick my head in. Uh the first thing you notice when you stick your head into X Grung give it to you is this room has a very pungent odor. There's a large amount of glassware along one wall in a cabinet with glass doors. Uh there are several uh shelves that hold what look like tunics. Uh, stuff there is a weird effect of dancing lights going off and from the far side of the room there seems to be a tiny frog person that just looks at you what do you want this what what do you want i was i didn't know what the sign meant i just was looking sorry you want to smoke uh, are you no, good, okay, thank you. Are you not wanting this smoke? No, no, I'm good. I don't want to talk back out. I'm going to go look at the bookstore for a while. <laughs> and that's where we'll end tonight's game. <laughs> wow. Tiny frog person. That actually hurt my throat. Well, it's canon now, so get used to it. Yeah, y'all are... Kogo beats the hell out of Avi, and then they both go to X Grung, give it to you. Also, I made a sorority chant for the Paylor Temple. Okay, we gotta hear this. <laughs> it's Paylor! Paylor! Paylor, Paylor, Paylor! Paylor Bright, number one, Paylor, Paylor, God of Sun. He's the best, teaching's true, Paylor, Paylor, we love you. Paylor, 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 Paylor. woo! Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? I totally rehashed one of my old sorority chants for that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn it over to him for socials and stuff. Oh, I want to hate life right now. Uh, well, I'm glad anyone uh, checked in with us this evening. We were actually uh, four viewers. We Yay. got five, actually. Oh, woo! Woo! Uh, so, we are here and on YouTube, where you can find all of our previous games, uh, except for the ridiculously long ones from Extra Life, uh, at Team Bonus Action. We are on Facebook as Team Bonus Action. We are... Li list listen, honey. Listen, honey. We are on Twitter as at Bonus underscore team. Team underscore bonus. Got it. I'm going to punch you. Um, I am on TikTok where I have been posting about some of our misadventures and just silly shit at uh, fre.kun. Frank, you on there. Um, on Thursday, we will be back with Tears of Kairos as far as I know. Uh, Sunday, we will be doing a bonus round table. A bonus, uh, bonus round table, because this is a fun Bonus, Sunday bonus month. round table, because we gonna talk about the new D&D &D movie. Because we got things to say. Yeah. I know I do. I'm excited. Um, so, we, and then we will be back, excuse me, ghost soda stuck up on me. We will be back again next Monday with this to see what kind of shit we get into now. So, I believe that is all. Oh, so, I'm going to hand it over to Knox. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us this evening. 
like I said, join us next time for more shenanigans and craziness. Until next time, folks. Don't let your meatloaf.